people Google things all the time now, right? And it's important to people that when you Google something, the result comes back almost instantly, right? Imagine that we didn't have such good algorithms and such good systems, and actually retrieving the answer to your query in Google took not a split second, but took a thousand seconds. We do depend on fast, efficient algorithms to make the world run the way that we see it running now. My name is Jelani Nelson, and I'm an algorithms addict. We want to make sure that there's an automated way to carry out a lot of tasks. And that automated way, that, that is an algorithm. That's what algorithms are. They're procedures, they're ways, they're, they're ways of doing things. For example, I give you two numbers, and I say, add them. Right? And they could be numbers that you've never seen before, but you have some well-defined procedure to do addition, so even if you see some new input, some new numbers that you've never seen before, you know how to add them, right? You write one on top of the other, you start from the right-hand side, and then you work your way and keep track of carries. So like that is an algorithm to solve the addition problem. I could say, here's a map and here are two points on the map. Find me the shortest route to get from here to there. There might be many different paths. Find me the one that's best. And then some algorithm would be the one to actually figure out you know, the answer. When you describe an algorithm to a computer, you know, you describe it by writing code, you know, and that code is really just a set of instructions for the computer to carry out. As someone who does research in algorithms, um, you know, what I do and what other algorithmists do is try to find an algorithm for the problem that's as efficient as possible. Like, use few resources, use few, like, use little time, so run quickly, use little memory, etc. So you also see it in like machine learning applications, where some algorithm needs to run to like learn a predictor or a classifier. And there's been a lot of work recently on like bias in, in, in machine learning. I'll borrow an example from my colleague here at Berkeley, Moritz Hart. So let's say that I have ads on my platform, like I'm Facebook or I'm Google or whoever. I want to show job ads to people, right? So let's say like videographers, like do you want, would you like to be, uh, would you like to work at Forbes? So it makes sense that I probably want to target these ads and show them to people who are themselves videographers or in adjacent spaces, right? So, but I need to make a prediction. Is this person a videographer or not? And it might not be obvious depending on the context. Like if, all, if it's on Facebook, maybe, maybe on their, in their profile they say what their job is. Maybe they don't. But even if they don't, I'd still like to guess if they are, right? Whether they are. And maybe I can guess based on what they've liked, right? Based on the posts they've made. Um, there might be hints there that this person is likely to be a videographer. There, the computational task is basically I have all this historical data because I have like a billion plus people on Facebook. And like the algorithm needs to look, like basically output a classifier so that when someone in the future comes in, a new user creates an account or, or someone who's not labeled with their job, you know, based on, on their data, I need to make a decision. Like, is this person likely to be a videographer or not? And imagine that it came out that I'm actually showing this job ad to men more than I'm showing it to women, okay, or, or, or the other way around. You could ask, is that a problem? Or is that fair? Because one group is seeing the ad less, they have less opportunity to apply for that job, which is not good, right? At the same time, maybe certain jobs have discrepancies in gender of like who takes that job on average. Maybe it just so happens that I'm making up a number, 80% of videographers in America are women. So then doesn't it make sense that I show this job ad to women more than men because there are more women who are videographers, right? So there are different things that are kind of at odds here in terms of like, uh, you know, what exactly do I want? Like what kind of bias is allowed bias and what isn't? Um, and, and so researchers are looking at these questions very carefully and trying to, and trying to come up with schemes that achieve certain goals. Most of these, if you take any two different notions, they're at odds with each other and you can't get them both at the same time. So people have to really sit down and think like, which goal do we, do we actually want?